Hello everyone and welcome to another Valkyrie Attacks episode, so this time Chip is gonna attack this base, but before that few small updates, you probably remember the Clan vs Clan episodes that I really wanted to do lots of them, but unfortunately once I posted that on, on YouTube and on the website, I've got so many requests for that and I didn't really know how to pick them, how to pick the clan. So what I'm gonna do is something different. I know you guys asked for it and applied for it and I'm really sorry about it but I wanna do something different that will make it much easier for me to decide which clan I'm going to. So I put a link over here to my Facebook page and you can find this link in the description under the video as well. So what I'm gonna do is randomly whenever I can record post a request on Facebook on the Facebook page you gotta like the page so you can follow it and whoever is gonna be the first one to write the tag of the clan and the name of the clan and lower the trophies to about 800 so I can get in with my with my mini account he's, he's the one that's gonna get the worry cap in his clan I'm gonna get right away into his clan and record that worry cap and put it on YouTube so that's gonna be the new trial and hopefully it will work if you think that I should do it on Twitter instead let me know in the comments and I will definitely consider doing that maybe even on, on both so make sure you go on Facebook and like the page and follow it and you will be able to participate in those in the clan vs clan series as well and hope is it gonna work so the second update is about my, my microphone it, did, it didn't arrive yet so just be a bit more patient and it's gonna arrive soon and I will have much better audio quality and third thing is about the previous Valkyrie attack video so some things came up in the comments and I wanted to talk about them so basically Valkyries don't take double damage from Teslas while Pekkas do so in that case Valkyries are better on the other hand Valkyries take more damage from splash defenses and from giant bombs so if a giant bomb blows up it hits few Valkyries on the other hand only one Pekka so that's less damage for the Pekkas so you guys should consider all of those. I think that you can heal Valkyries very effectively and, and that splash damage is not gonna be that bad. But you guys decide what you wanna bring to your attacks after considering the base and, and what you wanna do. So let's go to the plan on this one. So it's gonna be a similar attack to go wipe just just as I, as I explained in the first video if you didn't if you didn't see it go check it I'm gonna put a link in the description as well to the previous video so it's gonna be very similar golems are gonna go from two directions and the whole idea is that you wanna funnel your way into the core, get the queen, get a clan castle troops and get as many defenses as possible so the back end hogs or balloons or whatever you use can destroy the rest of the defenses so wizards are gonna funnel their way, wall breakers are gonna break through the wall and then you can send the heroes in so the whole idea is that all of those are gonna go right into the core to, together with all the valkyries so you would need to pay attention to the Valkyrie's health and usually you would need some early heal spell to heal them up so they won't die and continue taking down more buildings on the way and you should really consider and decide during the battle where you want to drop the heal spells and basically the Valkyries and heroes and golems are gonna cover something like this about half of the base and the rest are gonna be taken out by hogs so he's sending hogs from few directions and in this way he's able to take out all of those defenses in this range and basically that's the attack all of those are gonna go down and this way he's gonna get the 3 star so I guess we can see the attack now 
if there's anything interesting during the attack. I'm gonna tell it as well, so he's using two giants to lure the clan castle troops. Once they're out, he's gonna gather them and take them out with a wizard and a queen. I think it was a wizard, didn't really see. So columns are going in, wizards are cleaning all those buildings on the way, and now the heroes and the Valkyries can go right where he wants them to go on the way to the core and once the defenses are starting getting busy with all those core troops he's gonna start sending the hogs so valkyries are healed now with the first heal spell and now he's starting sending the hogs so as you can see that we start starting shooting at the troops and he's sending the hogs right away and same goes about the other once a cannon starts shooting at the fences, you can send the hogs in and they're gonna do the cleanup without taking too much damage. So as you can see, the main troops, especially the king, are already on almost on the outer wall, on the outer part of the other side of the base and still doing damage there. And all those hogs are getting are giving more health, so I think this attack is more effective against max Town Hall 9s when you actually have high level heroes, let's say 20 plus heroes. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know if I would risk it with my heroes. For example, my heroes are level 11. So I would stick with my level union attack and not try this, but if you got high level heroes, it's definitely worth a try. So, especially if you like go wipe attack or hogo wipe. So, I hope you like it. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, follow me on Twitter, follow the page on, on Facebook, and make sure that you can participate in Clan vs Clan by following the page on Facebook. So that's it. We'll see each other in the next video and don't forget check in the website. Bye bye.